Hello witches, it's Dragabella. I'm so excited that I won the Elemental Witches giveaway. I'm so pumped. I cannot even say how happy I am. I was pricing stuff on eBay and maybe could have afforded like one crystal, but um, I cannot even believe how excited I'm gonna be when I get that package. Um, I could have never bought that stuff in a million years. But anyway, this video um, is to show you my cabbage, how big it got. Um, I think it can continue growing um, right through the fall. It's starting to get that little um, head look in the middle. But um, I'm thinking of pulling off a few of the really big leaves to make um, stuffed, ca stuffed cabbage leaves. Um, I saw a Midnight Mist's video and um, she showed her cabbage, stuffed cabbage rolls um, in one of them and I remembered my grandmother making them and um, my grandmother passed away in 2011 and um, I just miss her dearly and I thought I would make her stuffed cabbage rolls. Um, you can see that I have some really big leaves in here. And um, if you can see the stains on some of the leaves, <laughs> this is kind of funny, but um, I poured out my dandelion oil one day because um, I had kept it a little bit too long and it went all over the cabbage when I flung it. So um, the leaves are like permanently stained from the yellow from the, cat, from the dandelion oil. So um, <laughs> hopefully, I will also have some of the healing properties and qualities of the dandelion as well. Um, I know dandelion is used as a diuretic, so I kind of don't really need a diuretic right now, but you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Good stuff is in all of the herbs and things that we use for the most part. Um, and this over here is my little cauliflower plant, but it doesn't seem to be too happy. But um, I know that it can keep growing. I'm going to leave it as long as I can until, like, frost is, you know, really a problem. And over here is my pumpkins. Um, I thought in, in the beginning I wasn't sure if it was pumpkins or um, cucumbers because they kind of look similar. But it's definitely pumpkins, I think. Because um, now the vines are coming down and you can see... The flowers are starting to form little pumpkins. Look how cool that is. Little pumpkin, baby. <laughs> oh, so I'm gonna have a whole bunch of pumpkins. I'm so excited, I can't wait. Um, I'm a little worried about this white stuff that's on the leaves. Um, if it's some kind of um, sickness on the plant, I hope not. But it looks kind of like a mold or something. Um, my basil and oregano over here are not doing that great. Um, actually, the oregano is all right. And I think, but I'm not sure that this is time. Um, I'll have to go look at the picture of it again because I also planted some thyme. I planted the oregano, basil. I planted cucumbers and pumpkins, but I think only the pumpkins grew. I also have these little plants here. So. Actually, you know what? I think they both grow because I think one is pumpkin and one is cucumber. Because the leaves, um, well, maybe not. I don't know. It might just be the pumpkin. But, um, so one of them didn't grow, I think. And then the basil is getting eaten alive by bugs. But, um, I'm gonna keep at it, keep watering. Um, I take a few leaves as needed. Um, I'm going to pull some of them off that are, yeah, this one was going to fall off anyway. It just came right off. Oh, but it smells awesome. And I'm going to let them go to seed, hopefully. Um, I know the oregano, the seeds come from the flowers. And um, they're supposed to be perennial. So if the seeds drop and everything, they will grow again next year. Um, I have them in the pot so my husband won't mow everything down like he did last year. Last year I planted a huge garden with all kinds of awesome stuff in it. They were all little baby plants in a big rectangle shape. 
um, where I cleared off the grass and put it on the top of like a hilly area. But he claimed he didn't see it and mowed the whole thing down after all my hard work. I was so upset. <coughs> but I am so happy that I'm going to have pumpkins. How cool is that going to be? Come Samhain. I am like a Samhain junkie. I'm sure most of you are. Can you guys see my dog in the window? Hey, Taiko. He's really upset that he can't run around me right now. Um... Yeah, so I'm sure all of us love Samhain, but I just, <laughs> I have witchy Halloween stuff out all year long, because that's just how I am. Uh, just taking a walk around the yard right now, but um, it is fall like out. It's pretty chilly. Um, it's very much fall weather. You know, like those first days when kids go back to school. Oh, over here is where I have my, um, these are all the vines that I used to make the wreaths. So, um, I have plenty of them that fell because, um, we had a storm a year or two ago and it brought down half of, um, this big tree in the middle. It was much bigger. And, um... I brought down half that tree and the vines all came with it. So um, I just take little bits as needed um, and I make like a couple, maybe two, three, up to four wreaths at a time. And um, my, my house is kind of overtaken by pentacle wreaths at the moment. Uh, let's see over here how the fishies are doing. All the toads are gone. I think um, I let some of them go so they wouldn't get harmed or anything. But, hmm. This is my swimming pool. <laughs> Not for swimming anymore. Uh, I don't see my frog either. There's a big, fat frog. Oh, there he is. I see him way over there. His head's popping up next to the football. Let's see if I can... I don't think you guys are going to be able to see his head, but his head is right next to the football. He's a big, fat frog. Um, I'm hoping that the toads climbed out on the vines that are overlapped into the tree, but I'm not sure. I think when we had a bunch of rain that the catfish in there might have eaten the rest of them. This pool is full of catfish. Um, my children caught the catfish and put them in there, as well as a whole bunch of um, koi. They look like giant goldfish, those kind of fish. All different colors, white and um, white and orange and black. And today, if I get to, I will do um, a witchy outfit video, because I have on my new skull shoes here. And then I'm wearing all black and white. I, I can't tell if you can see me or not, but I have like a black sparkly shirt and um, white shorts on. So if I can do a full body shot and show you my witchy outfit of the day later, I will. I love this tree. I have so many beautiful trees in this yard. I'm going to miss this place when it's gone. Um, the house is not in my name or my husband's name. It, um, we've lived here 11 years and um, it's in his father's name. They said it was due to getting better um, interest rates, but I think it was not for that reason. But um, the house, the mortgage is about nine months behind right now. There, right? Here is my hawthorn tree, and it's kind of got a bunch of um, weeds around it. These weeds here grow very, very, very tall, like as tall as trees. But you can pull them kind of right out of the ground if you want to. Oh wait, those are not them. There's a bunch of other weird things growing around the tree too. Um, but the house is very close to foreclosure. We've gotten a bunch of letters just the ones that I've happened to come across. I'm sure there's more. And I do know 
that um, you know my current husband has a whole bunch of tax stuff owed from before he even knew me I mean a lot and at any time because the IRS has shown up at our house rang the doorbell looking for him and his ex-wife and um, this is kind of a fairy tree it's got all the holes and the knots and it's very old and beautiful I love this tree it's, well it's not a tree it's a stub now a stump um, so they show up and um, one day I'm afraid they're gonna show up and just start auctioning off the furniture and stuff because I've heard horror stories um, and I know somebody who that happened to um, so most likely this is the last summer spent in this house most likely the last summer that will be a complete if you can call it complete family um, and oh, I don't want to get all emotional I um I tried to make it you know special spending time just me and the kids a lot this summer I feel bad we didn't get to go on any vacations or any really good day trips or anything but um hopefully they'll look back and remember that we were all together um not him but we uh, me and the children spent pretty much the whole summer together which was awesome this is all the knots in my little secret. I call this like my little secret hideaway place because um, you can go walk inside and under the trees and look up. It's like a little cave all to my own. And then I can, this is like the little doorway that I look out of and I'm inside the trees. And there's all these beautiful vines that are just so intertwined and wrapped all the way hugging the trees. And I think it's absolutely beautiful. Um, and then there's lots of grape leaves. These are all grape leaves, um, grape vines. And you know, you can pick and eat the grapes when they're, um, can I see any? There is bunches of grapes, trust me. Um, I'm thinking since this may be the last year here that I'm gonna pick the grapes at the end of the season and ferment a wine make um, a real fermented wine out of them and maybe by the time it's fermented and ready to drink I will have moved on and have a whole new life maybe I'll even be able to drink that wine with a new relationship <laughs> yeah keep dreaming Strega <laughs> okay guys <laughs> blessed be bye